guys, once again, we're back. Team Sean Hammond's Jiu Jitsu YouTube page. Thank our sponsors, Fuji. We're all Fuji'd out. We appreciate that. This is one of my black belts, one of my oldest black belts, not age wise, but he's almost a third degree black belt. He's been with me a long time, for maybe 20 years or so. So, Big Dave Brockerhurst is his name. He's got a, a move that he does, and when he teaches it, it's a really good move, and it works well for, for most everybody. So. Dave Brockhurst. Hey, I call it a committed arm sweep. Uh, a black belt years ago showed it to me. I didn't believe in it when I first heard it. Uh, put it into practice and it finally started working for me very well. I've been sticking with it ever since. There's two versions of it, one from half guard, one from side control. We'll start off with one from half guard. So coach, if you'd be my half guard. So when we're here, what I need is for him to monitor my hip with his hand. So as soon as his hand comes close to my hip, I'm gonna take his hand and take control of it. Once it's here, most of the hard work is done. I'm gonna keep this knee nice and high and move this leg so he feels like he can pass. As he starts to pass my guard, I'm gonna to reach to the wrong side of his head. All right, grab his belt. I'm going to pull on his belt, push on the hand, and escape to north-south. Roll up to side control. It's a very easy sweep. The faster he comes towards me, the easier that becomes. Now, the harder version is when he has already settled in side control. If I've missed this and boom, he's here. I've tried all my conventional side control escapes, none of them are working, so I'm gonna try a version of this committed arm sweep. Now, I need to get my elbow in here, but quite often when he's very tight, he won't let that space happen. So what I do is I pull onto the shoulder and pull down. That will either move him down and away from me so I can get that elbow in, or it moves my body away from him so that I can get that elbow in. Once the elbow is in, I set it against his stomach. Again, I reach with this hand to the wrong side of the head, grab hold of his belt or his lat, get north-south as far as I can, and we'll oh, oh. That one takes a little more horsepower, but it's worth it. All right, some more details on how to get some of these, make it work a little easier. When he's tight and I can't get my elbow in, I'm gonna pull on the top of the shoulder and pull his body down or move my body away so that then I can slide this elbow under the stomach. Force from one direction is gonna come here against the underside of his body. The force in the other direction is gonna be here over the top. So I'm gonna reach for his belt or his lap. I'm going to escape north-south as far as I can. Once we're here, it becomes easier. I'm going to push on his belly with my elbow, pull on his belt with my hand, and roll over. If I can, pull myself right up into a mount position on the side there. I want to thank my boy Dave Brockerhurst for teaching his technique, incredible technique. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment.